Ahoy, this is Zdenka. It is creative camera challenge time. What are we gonna be talking about in today's video? Reflection. That's the topic. Let's get started. And if you are new, my name is Zdenka Darla. I work as a photographer since 2007. I make tutorials, tech reviews and creative camera challenges. So you might consider hitting the subscribe button. Before we get into reflections, in case you are wondering why this park is so empty. Normally it's very busy, but at 5.55 a.m. nobody really wants to come except me. <laughs> First of all, let's look at submissions from last month. The theme was street photography. I have received so many beautiful photos from all over the world. Thank you very much. Let's look at the, some of the best ones in random order. The first one is here. I absolutely love this shot. The old sepia look with colorful flag and that grunge texture over the photo worked really well here. Photo number two, life on the street in Thailand. I'm loving the shot of the people on that truck. Another photo here. This photo is eye-catching. It is post-shot, a very interesting view and composition. Black and white version works really well for this shot. Photo number four is here and it's very nicely timed reflection. I can only imagine that the photographer must have been waiting there for a while to get that perfect couple walk by. Very nice photo. Photo number five. I really enjoy composition and framing of this shot. It's just perfect. Another photo, that bicycle over there. In that photo, that's just caught my attention. Just interesting view and a very cool frame texture. Photo number seven. Well, that is a very strong expression, very clear expression. Loving that smoke in the photo, by the way. And last photo here very artistic photo. This is a shell in the water taken with 8-stop ND filter. Very well done. Thank you very much again. I have included links to all featured photographers uh, in the video description below in case you're interested to check them out. Round number seven, reflections. Where can we find reflections? What can make or break your photos? When it comes to reflections, the possibilities are endless. We can find them anywhere. We can even fake them. I never said that. So where everywhere can we find reflections? Well, the list is quite long. The first one, the common one, is lake, puddle, windows, mirrors, cars, glass, polished metal, spoon, sunglasses, marbles, shiny tabletops or shiny floors, polished metal, bubbles, ice, and phone surface. When is it the best to take reflection photos? Either very early in the morning, like right now, or very late in the evening. Especially if you get very lucky and you see the sky turning colors, or maybe you will get some few clouds to get that dramatic look. Aim for very calm days when there is no wind, so the water is very still. matter of finding the right angle. One thing you want to do though is try to keep sun out of your photo because it will reflect into the lake and it will potentially ruin your photo. For all other reflections like non-lake, non-water reflections like for example windows or mirrors and stuff like that, shooting in a city, it doesn't matter what time of the day you are shooting really. One tip though, if you have the mirror reflection in a shade, the effect will be stronger. <coughs> We all learned about the rule of thirds and sometimes we all need to forget about that rule, especially when it comes to reflection, landscape reflection. It is nice to have it all symmetrical and in the center. That's how I like to take the shot. If I'm taking non-lake or non-landscape reflections, I still place it right in the center because the effect, it will be definitely much stronger.
Let's talk about the aperture. If you are taking a reflection photo of a large scene, like a landscape, you might want to keep the aperture f9 or 10 all the way up to 16 to have everything nice and sharp. If you are taking photo of a small reflection, like a water drop, you can go with the aperture much lower, pretty much all the way down, if you want to have just a very little area sharp. If you like to use CPL filter loss, then you might turn it down or remove it completely because as we know, circular polarizing filter is made to remove reflections. If you are planning on taking photos of water reflection, then you might need to grab a tripod and ND filter because you will need to shoot at very slow shutter speed to make sure that the water looks like a mirror <clears throat> that is very, very still. And for those interested, I already made a video about ND filter. The link is here or also in the video description below. So feel free to check it out after this video. If you love taking photos with your smartphone, then you will have a lot of fun because you can get so much closer to your reflection because of the lens. Well, the lenses are so small. Just make sure you don't drop it in the water. Here's my shot I took in Cuba. Let's move away from landscapes and let's go to the city. City offers lots when it comes to reflections. If it's a rainy day or it just stopped raining and you see puddles everywhere, the opportunity is there. You can get so many photos there. People walking by, people still with umbrellas reflecting in the puddles. Or if it's a very dry day and you happen to have a bottle with water, well, you can kind of create your own puddle. <laughs> puddles but also buildings with those very large windows they offer great reflections just make sure you get very close to the window and then also polished metal on a cars get close and see if there's any reflection take a shot when you cannot find reflections make your own reflections like I said bring a bottle of water pour it on the ground create your own puddle or do you guys have optical prism? Bring it much closer to your lens and just spin it around. Have fun, create your own reflection or use your phone reflective surface for reflections. Use mirror or even sunglasses. Possibilities are endless. Selfies or self portraits. I have seen so many creative reflections when it comes to selfies and self portraits. Mirror reflections are amazing, except sometimes, like this morning, the reflection wasn't the greatest. <laughs> well, my friends, it is your turn. Take a lot of reflection photos and videos if you prefer and share them with us for a chance to be featured in the next Creative Camera Challenge video. You can upload them to Instagram and use hashtag ZDChallenge7 or you can also submit them to Facebook group ZD Camera Challenge. The link is in the video description below. And the deadline is July 30th. And all I have to say now, hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video, subscribe to all future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, or simply want to say hello, you can do so in the video comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ahoy.